In this video, I'm going to describe how to complete the commuting and homeworking survey form. For most organisations, you will only be asked to complete the survey once a year. You will enter details of a typical week, which will be scaled up to determine an annual figure, and combined with the submissions from all your colleagues to produce an annual emissions figure for the organisation. You will have received an email containing a link to GHGI commuting, your organization's account ID, as well as your username and password. It also contains a link to three videos. This one explaining how to complete a single stage journey and another explaining how to complete a multi-stage journey. The third video explains how to measure commuting distances for different transport types. As an aside, we do recommend that you reset your password as soon as possible. This is done using the Reset Password button. To access the survey, enter your organization's account ID, your username and password. Then click Login, which takes you to the survey form. The email will also specify the time period for which the details of your commute are requested. It will ask you either to select a specific time period from the drop-down or a specific date in the date field. From the reporting period drop-down, I'm going to select financial year 2023. The first question is typically, how did you travel to work during the period? Most people have only one means of transport, car, bus, motorcycle perhaps. If so, leave the radio button set at one main transport type and select your means of transport from the drop-down list. As you can see, there are quite a few options to choose from, including battery electric and plug-in hybrid cars, bus, train, car sharing and car ride. A car ride is where someone gives you a lift into work. I'm going to select car, petrol, internal combustion engine. This opens the Vehicle Registration Reference field, into which you enter your vehicle's registration number. The system uses this to obtain your vehicle's CO2 emissions from the DVLA. For cars, vans and motorcycles, this gives us the most accurate emissions figures. If you drive a van to work, select the car option with the appropriate fuel type, then enter its registration number. This will give us the information we need. Once you've entered the registration number, you are asked to enter the distance in miles one way from where you live to your place of work. Please do not enter the return distance. We only want the distance one way. Next to the distance field is a green button marked measure road distance. Clicking this will open up in a separate window an online mapping site. You can use this to determine the distance from home to your place of work. We explain this more fully in a separate video, the link for which is in the email you have received with your other login details. I'm going to enter 15 miles as the one-way distance to work. The next question asks, on average, how many times per week did you commute to work? The system will accept parts of days, so, for example, if during the period you alternated between three days one week and four days the next, you can enter 3.5 days. However, I'm going to enter four days. You are then asked, did you work from home during the period? I will select yes, which opens up two further questions. The first, on average, how many days per week did you work from home? I will enter 1. The final question, when working from home, provides two options. I turned on the heating when the weather was cold, and I didn't need to adjust the heating. We ask this question because heating can form a major part of the emissions resulting from home working. We only want to count the emissions that are the direct result of you working from home. If the heating was on during the day because others were in the house or flat, these emissions are not to be counted. I'm going to select, I turned on the heating when the weather was cold. 
I will now click the green Submit button. This takes us to a page showing your answers and asking you to confirm that they are correct. I will click Confirm. This provides us with the weekly emissions from both your commute and any home working undertaken during the period. The emissions are split into two parts. Scope 3, Category 7, which is the category covering commuting and home working in the GHG Protocol Corporate Standard. These are the emissions from fossil fuels and are what your organisation will need to report. The second category is outside of scopes. These are the CO2 emissions resulting from the biofuel element of a particular fuel. Biofuels are manufactured from organic material. These CO2 emissions are not generally reported because it is assumed that it will be reabsorbed when the particular source regrows. We display them where possible because we can, and it gives a more complete picture of the overall emissions. We also believe that emissions from outside of scopes will need to be reported in the future. Your emissions from home working are shown separately. This is because the emissions are not currently a reporting requirement, but a recommendation. These are your weekly emissions. To get your annual emissions, you need to take account of annual and statutory leave. Multiplying by 44 or 45 will give you a reasonably accurate figure for the year. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.